is there a relationship between the love of the script with the level of commitment in a way as an actress? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think you have to respect the the storytelling and the characters um, to give the performance you want to give. I think we're programmed that way as humans, though. You know, I remember, um, you know, working jobs that I really wasn't invested in. And so my work wasn't that good because I didn't care. So you really have to res respect, you know, the message you're trying to get across to be invested in it. How, how much uh, Rose's background determines what she's searching for? She, yeah. she wants to be somewhere else, right? Without giving spoilers. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's a great question. I think it's, it's everything. And it gave me a lot of permission to go into my imagination and create her backstory. I did that a little bit with Molly and a little bit with Rose McIver, who played my sister in the movie. We had some ideas of what their life looked like before we meet Rose and what had happened to her in her past. And also that scene, I don't wanna give anything away, but when she's in this void, um, that, that was written specifically. So I had that information and then could map out my, my choices when I was uh, in each scene performing, like why is she making this choice? Why is she such a hard edge there? And it's all, all from the past. I feel that uh, all of you guys, all uh, the members, uh, the ones who created this uh, film, uh, uh, gave us something very important in a time in which we were questioning some things like, what are we doing here? Is, is this it? Uh, I think the pandemic brought us into a different level. And I think the film explores humanity on a very intense way. I, I like what you guys did. Do you agree with the exploring humanity? And Yeah, th thank you. Your questions are so beautiful. Yeah, I mean, the story was inspired, I mean, through, through many things. I know Molly started writing it about 10 years ago when she was sort of waking up to her own pain and why she makes the choices she makes. And then when COVID happened, that really informed, like, okay, who am I? It was this big pause for everyone globally and and also a showcase of how interconnected we are on this planet together and how fragile we all are um i think the movie explores our our ego and our individualism and um anxiety and depression that exists in individualism but when you are connected to someone else your depression your anxiety your mental health it sort of you know it, it all like unfolds it, it kind of you know it like dissolves um, and and I loved that component of the script when when Teddy and Rose meet this relationship is formed that helps them heal their pain and there is no more separateness you know through the relationship of of truth you know but I think that can be scary for human beings to acknowledge their their pain. I think sometimes we hold on to pain because we think it makes us interesting and unique when really everyone has their own story of pain. You know, it makes us all kind of the same. Did, uh, Katie, did you have to go to painful places in your heart or your mind to be a more uh, real rose, to forget who you are and just get into roses? road movie situation and the rain and all the things that she faces and yeah. I mean uh, uh, I really felt the, evol the evolution of this woman through you know within the two hours of the story it was amazing great oh I'm I'm happy to hear that I yeah I mean accessing anger has been really hard for me um, in my personal life. And then, you know, when that is called for in a character, I always go, oh no, I don't want to. When anger is such a healthy part of being. Um, and I think through cultural conditioning, especially as, you know, like a woman, you know, I'm trained to be really nice and really sweet and really likable um, when that's bullshit. You know, sometimes I'm like that. And other times I want to yell and scream and cry and kick things. So playing Rose gave me permission to just 
go there and use my full voice and to scream at a six foot four man in the face. And <laughs> it was cathartic. It was good. How, uh, how was your relationship with uh, Raul Colley as an actor? So good. He's, he's one of the most talented actors I've had the privilege of working with. I don't say that lightly. Um, he makes acting so fun and free and light, even when we had heavy scenes to do. He, he brings a levity to the scenes and to filmmaking that I really loved. Um, his commitment to the truth is, I mean, just un, undeniable. You just believe him all the time. So he was very easy to work with. Uh, would you say that the, the, is the film like a psychological thriller or we don't need to put labels? Or it's many things, I think. I think it's many things. I think it's just a slice of life and, and life is tragic and funny and romantic and horrific and dramatic. And um, I think that is the truth of what it is to be a human being. You know, our lives aren't just one genre. There are many genre genres. Uh, for me, it was interesting the like, like, when you guys are in the hotel and it's raining so much and you're like, you don't hating each other and it was so intense. <laughs> was it tough for you or? No, it, I mean, I think what was tough is I sometimes get anxious because I'll have a thought in my mind about how I want it to go, but you have to trust that it's going to go exactly as it should if you go moment to moment. So I had to let just let go and just breathe and look at Rahul and trust that I knew what I wanted to do. I knew my lines and that it's okay. If you mess up, it's okay. 